Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be me reviewing another person's app. So if you watched some of the past videos about getting user feedback, I did offer to review your app and give feedback on your app. So I'm, that offer still stands. If you're interested in getting some type of review like this for your app, go ahead and email me. All that information will be down below. This app that we're going to be talking about today is called Last Round Legend, and this was submitted by Nick. So you can see the landing page right here. One thing that I think is a bit hard to read is this secondary text down here. I think it's a bit hard to read since it goes over the, the person here. Even the main text is a little bit hard to read, so my recommendation would possibly be to to switch these maybe and put the text above the app. Um, but other than that, though, I mean, this doesn't look, this looks pretty good. Again, with these landing pages, like no one really is even gonna look at them. So they're not, it's not something you should spend a ton of time on. Um, this you could tell is similar to the one that I actually went through and coded out. So it looks, looks very similar, but I mean, I think it looks good. The landing page is very simple, but Again, I don't think that's really that bad of a thing. So now if we're looking on the Google Play Store here, we can go through the screenshots real quick. You can see the app layout here is basically showing you games that are matched up. I'm not exactly sure what, what for sure this means. So I think you could benefit from putting some text above this screenshot and kind of describing what the screenshot is actually about. Same with this one. I guess these are these are maybe the competitions that you have between between your or these are the groups maybe that you have within your app. I mean, it looks good in the sense that it, like the data collection looks good. I think the style could be possibly a little bit better. Screenshots are very important because getting someone to this page is already hard enough. Like getting them to view this page where they go to install it, but the screenshots are going to be what makes them install it. So for me, I, I still am not sure enough about what this app does to install it. So that I guess is, is one piece of advice is to maybe make these screenshots a little bit more descriptive. And also Android or Google Play lets you have nine of these, I believe. So you should use all nine of them if possible. Realistically, no one's going to read this. No one's going to read all this stuff. I mean, think of when the last time you read an app description was. It's probably never. I mean, I don't. I'm, it's necessary to have it for sure for your app, and you should make it make it well written. But it's not this. These written words are not going to get someone to download your app. The screenshots will get someone to download your app. So now let me actually download the app, and I'll walk you through my exact experience with this app. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. All right, so now we're in the app. And this is something I feel I need to update in my app as well, is this page right here, like immediately bringing you to this login screen without giving you any context of what the app is, is kind of not great because I think a lot of people will download the app. They still won't understand fully what the app is about, so they won't create an account, but I'll go ahead and create an account. All right, so I created my account. The App is pretty simple here. I do like how it defaults you to having a profile picture like that. That's pretty cool. I can go to my account. Looks like I could change that. I can edit my name. That's all pretty cool. Um, let's see. Change theme. Oh, that's that's kind of nice. It just changes you from light mode to dark mode. Um, nice. All right. Uh, so my options here are join pool or create pool. Again, I still don't understand what that means so it's a bit confusing for sure like it would be nice if there was more information on this page of what a pool means or even really what the app is yeah people downloading this are not going to necessarily know what this is so no pools are available create one let's see so my pool name i'll just do a test for now all right so now it looks like that's my pool there and then i can go into the pool Okay, so down here, we do get a little bit of information with competition rules. I would say it could be nice to have a little bit more margin on the bottom of that, so this could be scrolled up a little bit, but... So you would go through then and just pick all these, all these, all these winners of these games. Definitely the, like, API usage in here is pretty cool. Like, you have all the games showing. 
that's really nice. I think this list view is real nice as well. Um, I'm not fully, I don't know. I don't, I'm not like super into soccer either. So this is a bit uh, confusing. Is a bit confusing for sure. Like this wouldn't be an app I would normally use. So I think, I think that's part of the confusion here. I don't understand the different, the rounds. Like why am I starting on round 15? Is that just because I'm late in the game? Or is it, Am I late in the, is it, is it like a series that's going on and I'm late to it? Possibly. Um, pool picks. Yeah, I don't, I guess that round 14 is probably already happened then. The chat is probably pretty cool. I'm guessing this chat would be between anyone that's in the, in this pool. So other people we would want to invite to the pool. So this is like a social thing. So that is a nice feature for sure. All right, so here is the schedule. So it looks like it looks like that is kind of what is going on. Like these games are going to be played on these days. So one through fifteen, yeah, one through fourteen has already happened. So we're on round fifteen of this um, of these games. Again, I'm a bit ignorant to how how this is even working in terms of like what the league is set up like. But I think overall, that's this all seems pretty cool. It looks like, I mean, it looks like when you're in the pool, that's that is like it's all about this right here. I think the chat, I think the chat feature is really nice, and I think that will probably be used a lot by people. I think the app has already has basically the feature set to be a very popular app. One thing I didn't see in there was the feature of inviting people, which I think could be really really powerful there so if i want to invite someone to be in my pool i could just easily click a button and it could send them a message to download the app and then join my pool uh, i'm sure that's something you've thought about but you're just waiting to do that feature the main thing i would say is is i didn't understand what the app was until until like three pages into the app where i already <clears throat> where i already had created the pool so I think that is going to be really confusing for anyone, and I think a lot of that can be fixed by having better screenshots on in your app store that are a little bit more descriptive, as well as putting more information on how the app works when you first download it, and not necessarily making people log in off that first on that first initial page. Overall, I think this is a really good app, especially. I mean, I don't know if this is the first app you've done, but if so, then this is. I think very impressive if this is the first app that you have on the store. If you also have a beta version of an app or a recently released app that you would like me to review, go ahead and send me over the invite link for that and I will get to it as soon as I can. All right, thanks for watching, ciao for now. <laughs>